All right, good morning, Hilljack Nation. Check day four. Rick decided to come back up and get some more. You can tell by our uh, attire today, it's a little chillier than this morning. It's supposed to actually warm up this afternoon, but man, it was said it felt like 28 this morning. And uh, so, anyway, Jason has to go back to work today. Rick wasn't doing anything today, so Rick came up to hang out with me again and uh, see if we can keep the luck rolling. Somebody got to keep him straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, while the wife is gone, she want to make sure somebody's with me to keep everybody straight, to keep me straight. But anyway, she gets back tonight, so I'm excited about that. But uh, anyway, y'all come along. We're about to go check traps. Well, guys, I ain't going to lie. I am totally shocked because on my cameras, I get... I got two cameras here and I get videos of fox and coyotes coming by here all the time. I've got a dirt hole over there behind Rick. I've got a dirt hole right here and absolutely no activity this week. It's been some crazy weather. I don't know. You know, it was sunny, then it rained. This morning it's cold. I don't know if... I haven't seen a video of a coyote. I almost caught that fox in the video a couple of days ago. But, uh... Back here, I just can't believe nothing's tried to mess with these baits as much as I've had videos of them coming through. But, uh, I mean, if you see something I'm doing right in there, uh, let me know. But, man, it's a travel highway and nothing. So, uh, anyway, we're going to kind of relure it up and see what we can do. down here at the bottom to check this trap it ain't had any action all week I think I'm gonna leave it here because it's just been a crazy week and I have had coons down here and all of my cat food's gone so something's been down here so the cat food's gone off the outside still got some on the inside so I'm gonna rebate it and uh, check my camera that's right over there and see if I can see what was down here They're not always set exactly right. This dog will not go under there. So I'm gonna bend that up a little bit. Just see if I can help it. So there, we got it under there. I got it up a little bit. And I will see if we can get this set a little better than we were working on it. Oh, the dog went in the ground. All right, so now you can see that's way better. Now it's flat with the with the trap, so when they step on it, it'll spring. Uh, and the dog actually went underneath it. So now we'll get that in there, get it bedded real good, guys. You don't want you don't want your trap to move at all. Because any movement, if they step, is going to uh, cause them to back out. So you want that thing, you want that thing to be bedded tight. Get that out of there. So when you and see it's still moving, so I need to come down here under this end. You don't want that hardly moving at all. You want to be able to push down and it be solid on all four sides. So now we got that solid. I'm going to grab my screen and a uh, pan cover and we're going to get that done. There's open pan covers. And 
And there's my screen. So we'll put the pan cover on there to keep them clods from coming under there and keeping that set from firing. And I think this dirt's gonna be dry enough to go through there and cover it up okay without peat moss. So we'll give that a whirl first. And it is, it's doing a good job coming through there and covering. We'll get it all the way covered up and then we'll smooth it out over the top of that jaw. So now you got all that smoothed out. You don't want to leave any tracks, so you want to smooth everything out. You want that dirt to be smooth over that trap. You want everything smoothed out. I know Midwest Trapper leaves a dirt kind of flung out and uh, that's a good strategy, but also, I mean, it's spread out there, so it still looks like they're, they're spreading it. So now all I gotta do is bait this hole. I think in this one, I'm gonna use some uh, Trapper J, all predator. That's his bait. I got me a little spoon here. I might use to just stick that down on that hole. Get that Trapper J all predator in there. All right. Now I've got some uh, Dunlap Hellfire long call that I'm gonna put in there. Just again, give them a scent to get them over here. And boy, does it smell. <laughs> yes, it does. All right, stick that down in there with that meat. And I'll take my sheep tool. If I can find it. There it is. Take that sheep tool. Shove it down in that hole. Give a little eye feel. So when they come up there, smell them, they can see that fur down in there. And gets them interested in it. Kind of fluff up this side. Fluff up this side a little bit. Try to keep them from coming in from the sides. And there now I have a dirt hole set ready to go. So if a coyote or a fox does happen to come by in the next three days, at least I've got something there to attract him in. So anyway, now we're going to move on down the line, guys. Foothold traps for coyotes and foxes on this side of the road. So I decided I still got uh, Thursday, Friday. So I still got three more checks on this line. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put one in over here. Uh, I've had videos of coyotes and foxes down through here. I don't know. I haven't had any since I've been running these traps. But I thought at some point they're surely going to come through. So I'm going to try to go ahead and put one in here just to see. I, it gives me another chance to catch a coyote or a fox. So we're going to make a dirt hole here. that hole made now we'll get this I'm out of 550s I don't have a whole lot of traps still so I'm going to use me one of these uh, Duke number twos uh, I'm drive this in the ground get it set now I'm going to bait the hole Cover it up. I got pretty dry dirt here. I'm surprised at that, so I may not use, need the peat moss. I may actually be able to cover it with this. Uh, so we'll see. Whoops, I grabbed two. Don't need that one. Alright. Let's see if we can't get this thing set in here. I 
may need to adjust that jaw. Let me check. All right, guys. I don't know what's going on, Rick. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> How we ain't found anything yet? I don't know. Uh, guys, this is a trap. I caught a raccoon and a possum on that trap. So yesterday I put the cameras, two cameras there, and me and Jason moved them there, and I got both of them baited. And today there's nothing with all that scent that's up here and the bait, nothing. I maybe it's too cold for him last Wire, night. Nothing on it either. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but right now we can't find nothing. So down the road, but I don't know. Maybe it got down to 28 last night. Maybe they just didn't move. I mean, it's a beautiful day. Uh, it was a beautiful day yesterday, but uh, nothing today. It's weird. We still got a few to check, so hopefully we'll run into something yet. Folks, when you ain't uh, when you have bad luck on the trap line, and you got a when you got a bad luck on a trap line, and you got a cable that needs run across the rafters, that's giving you internet, and your brother-in-law is really good at that kind of stuff. Yeah, recruit him to. Run your cable and get that done since we didn't catch any animals. <laughs> because uh, we didn't have very good down the trap line, but we're getting a little electricity run or a little bit of uh, internet run. So you just gotta do what you can. What the hell going on? I ain't seen nothing. Man, I have no idea. Uh, day three of checking, not a damn. Coon, possum, cat, coyote, fox. Not even a cat. Not even a cat. The bait's all been in the trap. We're at the last trap. I'll show you the beautiful creek. The creek looks good, but we're having a rough day today. Absolutely nothing on that trap. I get coons traveling on that trail all the time on my camera. I ain't seen a coon yet. Uh, yeah. It has been strange weather patterns. I don't know what's going on, but... Uh, you know, it went from nice to rainy to cold last night. It is supposed to warm up to 51 today, so maybe they'll run tonight. But uh, today's my first blank check, so I can't complain too much. But I do have, so I'm still at five possums and three raccoons and three cats. Uh, the one missed fox. I have not seen a coyote on video yet. So, I don't know. Uh, it's just one of them years, bud. <laughs> have, have you seen anything like this? I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh, I didn't have it. He had no idea. I'll tell you what. Uh, I guess we'll just sign out. I guess we'll just sign out on this one. In the middle of the woods. Just checked the last trap. Uh, wish us luck for the next video because I just can't believe that we didn't have anything today with all the videos I have all year of stuff on camera. But uh, that's going to do it. Get a kid out in the outdoors. You get out in the outdoors. Enjoy what God made. And until next time, God bless y'all.